back to Creative Tuesdays with Liz. I am very excited again to be here as I always look forward to this time that we just come together and create with each other. And I am excited to get started today. Today we will be creating a flower sun catcher picture. So you will need um, the flower template that I provided for you or if you wanted to draw your own, you could do that. You'll need um, scissors, glue, uh, you'll need either a coffee filter and some markers, or you'll need some party streamers in different colors, or some tissue paper in different colors, and um, some construction paper so that you can cut your flower shape out in. And we will go ahead and get started. So you will need something to protect your surface area, especially if you're going to be coloring your coffee filter um, so that it can, because it will bleed through here. So um, we'll lay down something to protect our surface work area. But if you cut out or printed in everything your, the flower template that we're going to use, there were some, there's X's on the parts that we're going to cut out. So those are the pieces that you will need to cut out. And um, just to let you see kind of how it will end up looking. So see these spaces are going to be cut out. So we'll cut those out. And you can do that if you have an X-Acto knife or if um, you have your teacher wants to go ahead and cut these out with a Zacto knife or anybody at home um, or you could just use scissors and again we'll do that by very carefully placing our finger on the back side of it and then opening our scissors and very slowly and carefully kind of twisting it and pushing a little until we feel it poke through the back with our finger and then you can just cut out around your shape that needed to be cut. So you can get all the petal areas cut out, the middle of your flower cut out, and um, have that all ready that we'll use. And you can just set that aside whenever you get all yours cut out. Um, or like I said, if you're you know doing this in a big group at school, um, maybe the teacher might want to already have um, the flower petals cut out and everything ready or if your students are able to cut their own you know they can cut their own um, however you want to do this and again just like always there's no right or wrong way and I want you to just really enjoy the the process of it and not be um, stressed out or worried what you think the end product will look like so I just really want you to enjoy art and enjoy creating. So there we go. So you'll have all your pieces cut out of your flower that you'll need cut out. And we'll set that aside. And so if you chose to color a coffee filter, you will lay your something to protect your table, work area, and then you will just start coloring your coffee filter. You're going to want to fill the whole thing up with colors, though. All kind. You can use a bunch of different colors, but you'll want to fill up the whole area that you have. And so, I'll color in some of these inside areas. If you wanted to, like I said, color your coffee filter but see how it kind of bleeds through so yeah you'll definitely need something to protect your work surface area so and it will have to be markers uh, crayons wouldn't really work for this um, but if you do just only have crayons then you know just color it with crayons the light might not shine through it um, very good in the window like it would with markers but you know we can adapt and use what we have i don't want you to think you can't do this project if you don't have markers you know so um don't be concerned or anything about that i just really want you to enjoy this 
So like I said, you'll need a color if you're doing the filter and color in your own. You'll need to fill the whole thing up with color. Um, so just keep on coloring, adding your designs and everything to it. I think I'm going to put some other little coloring designs on top of this green and orange too as well. I'm going to do some pink too in here. areas colored in it'll be all filled up good something about I know coloring on something that is just it's not paper but you know it's okay like this is a, a different kind of texture thing to color on and it's it's kind of neat to just do different experiments and try different things um, you know there are certain things that you should not color on um, if you're a teacher or your family or parents tell you not to. Um, but, you know, it is also neat to experiment with different things to color on. Like, I wonder how able you would be, how well you could color on a leaf if you got a leaf from outside. Um, but just anything. So, But again, don't, don't get in trouble by coloring on the table or the floor at school or at home. So that wouldn't be a very good idea. But, um, you know, something that would be okay for you to color on. How the coloring would take to different surfaces and everything. So, I've got that. I'm going to come in with some other little dots here. And when the like it's already colored with marker and then you, it's still kind of wet and you put more marker on it, it kind of bleeds out. Kind of like we had made the tie-dyed sun catchers uh, before together. And then I'll add some purple and blue. I'll make some bigger ones of the purple and blue. And then you'll see what colors mix together. Like if I take on the yellow area and color with blue, it looks green. Um, just kind of like the green, the green marker did. So, you know, mixing different colors. There's colors you can mix and make. Um, if you have yellow, blue, or red, you can mix to make different colors. Alright, but so you will make sure that your filter is just completely covered with all the coloring. So if you chose to do a filter, you will take your flower template that you cut and you're going to put glue all over it, the, the pieces that are left. So, and you might want to make sure you still have paper laying down protecting your surface so that glue won't get on the table of um, in between the open areas of your flower petals. So then you would lay that down on top of the whole flower and make sure it's all pressed down good in all the spots you put glue. Okay. And then you can cut off what's hanging off on these outside edges over here. So you can go around and just cut that off.
then you can cut off all the way around it. Um, but I wanted to show you some other ways if you decided to use like maybe the party streamer. So you would take your flower template that you had cut out and you will put you some glue around a petal and the middle spot here and then you can take you some pieces of your party streamers and just glue that down. Now I know it will kind of overlap in some of the other open areas. Um, you'll see that. So you can do it that way and then just keep kind of adding more. And then we'll get another piece. You can use all kind of different colors or you can just use certain color patterns, whatever you like. So, and it's kind of working like a puzzle. You'll just go around and you'll just fill in with your party streamers, all the areas that were cut open. So you'll just go and fill all of those in so if you could use the party streamers or tissue paper, if you had um, tissue paper that like you put in gift bags and things like that, you can cut you a piece off of that. And you, you can get different colors of that as well and just cut different pieces. And then you can glue that down Spread you some glue out. And then the same thing would work with this, with the tissue paper party streamers. You could go back and you would just cut all of this, this hanging off on the edges out here. And you can cut those off and just kind of clean that up a little bit. And then you're just left with your flower outline and then all your different petals filled in and colored in. This would be something neat to give, like if someone that you love for Mother's Day, if um, a mom or grandma um, or anybody that you have, you could give that to them or just anything, maybe a present for your teacher for the end of the school year. But these are very pretty. And then you hang them up in the windows and the lights shine through. It works the same with the, the filter or the tissue paper pieces. Um, but these are really super cool. This is another just fun little project. And I hope that you all enjoyed creating these, the flower sun catchers together. And next week we will come together and create a flip flop beach scene picture. So you will need some plain paper, coloring utensils, scissors, markers, and some different colors of construction paper. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you have blue and brown especially, as well as some other colors and stuff. Um, but please take a picture of your work and tag us in it, the Lancaster County Council of the Arts, so that we can see what each other's doing. Um, I look forward to seeing that and just looking at everybody's artwork. And I'll see you next week. Thanks.